Hello, who am I? What have I, what am I doing? What have I done? Hello, welcome. <laughs> so as you can see, we're gonna do something fun today. Today, we are going to be dyeing my hair. We're going to be bleaching it, toning it, and then coloring it. And I know that we are close to salons opening again, so you're probably like, Caitlin, why don't you just wait? Here's the thing. I don't have the patience for that. So, we are going to be doing it ourselves. Um, and we're gonna hope I don't fuck it up. Originally, I just, I had gone to Target and picked up a box dye, but then I was like, you know what, if I'm already gonna be might as well just go for a straight bleach and pick up some color and go to the beauty supply store and get all the stuff that I need so that way I can customize it and have more control over what's happening because either way I'm damaging my hair but at least this way I have more control over what's happening also I'm just one of those people when I do something, I do something. when I drink I drink when I eat I eat okay like I go all out in whatever it is that I'm doing okay so We're just gonna go out on our hair real quick. I'm really nervous. I'm kind of scared. My stomach's kind of been upset all day because I'm very, very nervous and scared. Because honestly, my hair is like my security blanket. I know I have really nice hair. And I the reason I've never done my hair at home is because I'm so terrified of fucking it up. Like, I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to. It's always been the thing that I got complimented on. It's always the thing I've always felt confident about. But you know what? We're gonna risk it for the biscuit today. Pray for me. I am optimistic. <laughs> But I'm optimistic that it won't turn out horribly. We really just time skipped. I'm so sorry about that. I know I kind of jumped into it and I didn't really film us kind of starting the process because I was splitting up my hair and then we did the test strip and then we just kind of jumped from there. Um, but yeah, so I just washed this out this first section in the back that we did. This side of the back needs a little bit more time and then we'll rinse it out as well. This is what we have so far. It's definitely patchy but honestly i'm not like upset you know we'll figure it out honestly my goal is just to kind of do our best that we can it is what it is and honestly at this point there's no turning back so there's no point in me stressing but i am surprised at how much i don't care i don't care about anything anymore oh my god that's the update as of right now. Do you need the spoon still? It's a, it's a <laughs> palm. You need this? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna need it a little bit. <laughs> just asking. You can even just pop it on in your hand. Ooh. What? Whenever anything is going wrong in your life, girls are always like, you know what? Just throw some bleach in it. You yeah, know what? Let's do something external. Necessary. Well, I would say that it makes a difference. And I would also say that cleaning up our rooms make a difference and <laughs> still say I should change the color of my hair before I go back to the office. You want we can bleach you? No, I'm just saying. Do you really out. want to? You can have Sir, I we can go and get bleach no, more bleach saying, right now. What you talking about? Oh my god, bleach tips. I love that idea. I Bring think the nineties back. the Guy Fieri kind of look. Oh no. Well, no, the thing is, my hair is going to be long, and I'm not going to cut my hair. So it's not something do you want to color it black? Is that what you're saying? Like to get the gray away? Or are you saying. Or do you want to go for a more salt and pepper? No, no something. It's pink. Sort of, you know. Blue. Okay, go straight up with it. Green. A little bit, and then. Dad, what's your favorite color? White? White? Yes. Yes, that's what I thought. Wow, now you do the whole thick thing? What happened? It's just depending on the section. You know what, Dad? Whatever. Have you seen it comes? Have you seen this? <laughs> I mean, I could have, she's being kind to me. We are far away from anything professional. Okay, right. You know that, right? Kate? No, I no, and I told her I was like I did not have any sort of crazy high expectation. So yeah, Dad, what color do you want to do your hair then? What are we doing for you? We're all coloring our hair this week. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> What's going on? Brown? Brown? Ooh! I, I think I have to research the color maybe. I don't know. You know, you what do that. What color Let would us look know. good on my skin tone? 
Maybe I'm not sure. Um, I would go indigo. What color is Highlights. What color? Deep <laughs> royal blue. Can I have two foil? It'd be cool as fuck. <laughs> Is there a thing I can, I can see a virtual picture of what I would look like? Yeah, there probably is. This is there, Caitlin. Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'm pretty sure there's apps because you know they got apps that like you can put that put on fake makeup for you. I look like I have a bunch of like, Costco hot dogs coming out of my head. I was gonna is that work the on the color you're going for. Well, the idea <laughs> would be to be the same color all the way through. Like honestly. Who cares at this point? Like, oh, whatever. I miss when churros were a thing. Rest in peace. Okay, so I'm gonna show you kind of what this is looking like. We tried to blow dry it a little bit. I know it looks really bad right now, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm still hopeful. Maybe that's me being naive because I've never colored my hair home before, but I have a feeling I can salvage this, okay? We're just, it's just a little messy right now, you know? But I think in the end, we'll really be able to reach um, an amazing place. And I refuse to believe that this will come out looking awful. Cause I, God. But you know, we're gonna rock it anyway, because who cares? Who gives a fuck, whatever. It's life, okay? It is what it is. It is what it is. We've already come this far. We're not stopping now. So we're just gonna keep going and keep trying our best. Frankly, I don't know how you could do this to yourself. I could see coloring your own hair, but I don't see how anyone Who does that? could bleach their <laughs> hair by themselves. Lots of people. Themselves? Yes. How do you do this by yourself? I have no clue. <laughs> don't you agree, Caitlin? Yeah, I don't know. It's also recommended that you don't do it by yourself. <laughs> I can't. I'm blind. I don't. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. oh. she's cute. I'm what still blind. I'm fulfilling my dream right now of having full control over what I'm doing to the color of my hair without anybody being concerned about its health. I'm minimally concerned, and I think I'm okay. Can't. Oh God! I need to wait for my nose. I need to wait for my nose. guys really oh my god wow yikes okay just like pray for me <laughs> and my hair right now my hairdresser's gonna kill me he's gonna fucking kill me He's gonna say, never do this again. Oh well. If y'all are gonna laugh, laugh now. Here's the story. So as you can see, I have just slightly over-processed like the top section of my head and because I saw that happening your girl got really scared and panicked and pulled out the rest of her foils even though I knew that they were still kind of brown in the mids and on the ends because I was like Oh no 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 and um that's why these are still like very like brown especially on this side because this was the last like section we did but to be honest your girl is like a little fucking scared because I'm just scared of my hair falling out I'm really scared I don't know what to do like and I definitely don't want to put like even on these like they're 
they're still brown but like I don't want to put bleach on them because it's like oh good god I need advice I'm so scared I don't know what to do I feel like I need to call Kiana right now and I need her to give me a pep talk because I'm scared as fuck right now I need somebody to validate me and tell me everything's gonna be okay because I was all gung-ho and yeah I am gung-ho but as soon as I started worrying about my hair falling out of my head because I was really scared about how freaking light my roots were getting this went downhill it went downhill in these front sections which is literally so terrible I'm gonna cry I'm so scared Did she answer? Hello? This happened earlier. Why can't I see you? Is it the bad internet? Oh, hello. Okay. Help, I'm scared. Okay, I don't know It was going like okay until like the very end when I like panicked. I'm trying to tell myself this isn't the worst case scenario and that this isn't like the worst fail ever. Um, it's not though. Like, I just feel a little to. confused. <laughs> I feel like I hit a roadblock because I'm scared. <laughs> like, do you literally see? Bitch, I feel like I just need to remind myself it is what it is you know and <laughs> it'd be like that it'd be like that it'd be like that so I'm back it is the next day last night when I took off the last bit of foils and rinsed everything rinsed it all out um I freaked out because I was like so like blonde at the top on my roots and then like down on these front sides did not take very well and there's still some parts that are a little brown but not as it doesn't look as bad as it did last night this is another reason why I wanted to do my hair and do it myself and like go full out all the way do it all I've always just been really attached to my hair because growing up people would always compliment me on it and even now like people still really like compliment me for my hair and I know you're probably like well then why would you go and ruin it by doing it yourself um I had long hair up until my senior year of high school and I kind of cut it to it was about this length actually um, when I first cut it but I wanted to go like shorter like right above my shoulders which is normally where I like my hair and I was like I need to learn to love and accept my hair and well love and accept my body and not be so attached to things because I was going through things and I was about to have my breast reduction and so I was like you know that's gonna be a really big insecurity for me and I just need to learn to embrace life and embrace myself and if I wanted to try something different with my hair I should just do it and I shouldn't make a big deal out of it because it's just hair and I'm great either way I'm an amazing person with long hair short hair bald head who cares and me cutting my hair short was I think the first step in me fully accepting myself because I've for such a long time have put a lot of my value on the positive parts or the positive attributes that I have and by positive attributes I mean like things that people have pointed out to me and are like oh like you have really nice hair or you have really beautiful eyes or oh your eyebrows are really good you have such a cute nose like all of that stuff has been said to me and you know I think I think it's great and I love that but I need to not be so attached to my hair in the way that I am because the way that I am about it right now just isn't healthy so I was like you know what this is why I'm doing this and that's why I had such a big attitude of it is what it is while we were doing it last night and then after we took everything off was when I think the reality set in and the anxiety set in and I started crying and it was it was really emotional actually a lot more emotional than I thought it was gonna be because I was just so I'm just that attached to my hair because I bank on it and fall on that for support to myself whenever I feel insecure about my body and it shouldn't be that way like I shouldn't base my worth over something 
that's physical, that can change, that has a right to change, that will change over time. I just didn't want to live that way, personally. I'm not saying, like, it's a bad thing to be, like, you know, really attached to your hair. It's just the way it reflected the relationship I have with my body and with myself was something that I really wanted to fix. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'm out. Jesus, ow, 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 ow. Lord of mercy, ow. I'm trying to just not let myself get so pussy ass scared. <laughs> and then we'll do this top part of this section. Wow. See, undeniable. I've already got some on my sweatpants. I love that for me. So now that that is in, we're going to let it sit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, and then we will come back to it. Yo, I'm actually really fucking excited to see what this all turns out to look like. Um, I'm going to jump in the shower and rinse this out. Um, it's been about like the 25 minutes, but like I said, I was running out at the end. So these front pieces didn't really get to be saturated the way that they needed to be. So the back looks better, but it's just these front guys really need some help. Hello, I'm back. Um, literally, how many times have I changed my outfit throughout this entire video? I can't. I am back. I have washed the toner out of my hair and surprisingly... It did actually tone up here in the front, even though I was worried about it because of not of worrying that I didn't have enough toner um, left. It's still like, honestly, it did a pretty decent job and I'm not mad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the pink now. Um, but before I can do that, I have to read more instructions. I'm so sick and tired of reading instructions, guys. I'm literally going insane. Um, but I'm gonna read these instructions. Put it in. We're doing this Ion Bright semi-permanent hair color in the color Haughty Pink. Um, yeah, so it's time to color this shit. I just really enjoyed when I had pink hair before, so I'm excited to be going back to that. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, hi friends. So it is the next day and I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like in the sunlight. Um, it is still a little patchy, of course, that's expected because um, the bleach itself was a little patchy. However, she is pretty cute. Um, I do, like I said, I need to touch up my roots because I wasn't able to get to all of them. So I'm definitely gonna do that today. Um, I got more of this color that I used and I also got a little bit of a darker color that I'm gonna put like on the top for my roots at the top here, just so that kind of fades a little nicer, you know? Hey y'all, it's me, your girl, Caitlin. I am back. Day, God, what is this, day three? Yes, it is Sunday. It is day three. <laughs> it's day three of getting my hair pink. This is what it looks like right now. And because I ran out of color, um, I didn't quite get to do my roots very well. Um, so what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go in, fix up. You see that? Fix up the roots. And I'm going to um, try and make the roots at the very top be a bit darker if you know what I'm saying um so it looks a little more natural um we'll do our best um I have a wide tooth comb that I'm going to use to like brush through the darker color when I put it on top so we'll just kind of see how that goes and hope for the fucking best because <laughs> anyway but that's what we're gonna do today because yeah as you can see it still needs some help dear god Anyway, um, I'm going to section out my hair, and then I'm going to 
measure out my colors. So, we'll be back. Oh, wait. I got more of the hottie pink color, and then I also got a tube of this fuchsia color, which is like a slightly darker pink. So, we'll be mixing that for my roots. Love it. Okay, we're washing it out. <laughs> um, so this is the final product. This is this is the end, my friends. This is the final outcome of my hair. We are finally done. It took several days, but we did it. We did it, people. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks amazing. I just love having pink hair. I feel like it looks really good on me and I really like it and it's gonna fade super nice. So I'm very like excited and mm, I'm just so happy. I'm just so, so happy. And I'm glad my hair didn't fall out. Um, I will definitely be taking care of it. Moisturizing, hair mask, all of that stuff uh, because we need to protect our hair. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching and for coming on this journey with me. Um, it's been wild. It's been crazy. Um, and I hope you guys liked it. It was kind of emotional there in the middle because I was freaking out. Um, because like I said in the beginning, like I've just, I'm super attached to my hair. And as, you know, difficult as this was for me, I'm glad that I did it. And I'm glad that I pushed myself.